Hey guys, welcome back to another Ray video on my channel. If you guys watched my last short pull video, you guys should know that I finally got my last copy of Leoris. All right, and I have my I have made my Leoris to be a plus four. So you guys gonna see the world's strongest Leoris in this video. But that's the strongest Leoris in the world that does not have a blessing, all right? Because I just could not get any soul on my Leoris. Actually, one day I saw a Leoris soul pop up on the soul merchant here, but I do not have enough um, soul stone for this. Oh, sorry, soul essence. I don't have enough currency and I just could not get it, you know? So that's why I'm gonna showcasing world's strongest Leoris without blessing, all right? <laughs> if we're talking about blessings, I'm sure there are stronger Leoris because the second red star is absolutely strong, super super strong, right? It gives you 500 attack bonus. So let's just get into the Leoris gear I put. I think this is the best savage gear on my account, right? So it looks like this, almost 7500 attack with 327% crit damage. Like one thing I always, uh, I always said about building Leoris is you try to give him a little bit of accuracy. You don't have to focus on accuracy, but if you can give him even a little bit of accuracy, it's actually gonna help a lot. All right, his skill, uh, this is a defense down, of course, requires accuracy, and the A3, like, th this is a weakened and true fear. It requires accuracy for sure. Like, these are two very, very good debuffs. If you are able to land the weakened, this is gonna give you straight 25% damage increase. Like, if you think about this, right, it's like, if you can, have a little bit of accuracy to have the weaken uh, land, right? Like it's gonna, it's gonna be better than like 50% of crit damage, something like that. Also, trophy is also really good. Uh, I think I've said it many times on my channel. This is my favorite champion in the entire game. All right. So the reason being is I think he is just so universal, right? Like he has damage, he has utility, he is so hard to to be killed, you cannot put a crowd control effect on him if his skill is not on cooldown, right? Immune to all these crowd control debuffs and unkillable crazy damage with a very, very good aura. Right? I'm using Hell Smasher on him. Let me show you guys an image to illustrate his damage. I think I made this image a while back. I was talking about the hardest hitting AoE ability in the game. So you guys can take a look at this, all right? Uh, it's not like, the ranking should be accurate, except Baron, because um, Baron is going to get a buff, so ignore Bar Baron here. And I forgot to put Rollbar here, but otherwise, the list should be um, should be, uh, should be be correct, right? Number one is Rule, but it's a, it's a condition, right? You have to set up Hex to build around Rule, and Kytus, of, of course a condition, and Thea, of course a condition with Hex, and then we have Hefrak. Right. Of course, Leoris also has a condition that is, uh, he has to be at 1% HP to hit this hard. Still not as hard as Hefrak, but Leoris at 1% HP, I think it is doable. It's not that hard. All right. So, anyways, let's just uh, get into, let's just get into the showcase. All right. I'm gonna go into the uh, arena straight away. All right. You gotta see what we find here. Okay. So this, this, this team, uh, like I think it's gonna. I think I'm gonna finish the fight in like 15 seconds. Let's let's take a look at this. This is the team I use a lot actually. Let's put this to a cooldown. Wow, that's a fast Duchess, okay? Fast Duchess, okay, okay. Alright, Stone Skin. Can't do it. Alright, two swift parry. It's fine. Can I get one more turn? Alright, Cardio is gonna put um okay, Cardio got deleted. That's good. That stone skin is annoying. Okay. Almost gonna break his stone skin here. Come on, can I kill this necrot? Okay, so easy clap. Like all those type of slow teams, if they're not using uh if they're not using can uh Cupidus, right? If they're not using Cupidus, it's just gonna be an easy fight. Alright, let's uh let's take a look at this one. Let's try this this uh this team here. Should be consistent. Alright, got a lightning cage here. But it's not gonna save him, alright? I got I got the strip. 
Okay, can I one shot him? All right, that's Leoris at full HP. Still managed to one shot this thing. 16 seconds. All right, so now let's get to this part. I think this is a strong defense. A lot of people are struggling with a Cubitus team. So let's see if this is gonna work. So the way this team works is Yoshi has a passive, right? And I will have to A1 first, open with A1, put a stun, that's good. I'm not like intentionally putting stun on him, alright? So, his Mithra is gonna cleanse, and my Yoshi is gonna get another turn instantly. And now I can do the strip, and his Cubitus is gonna counterattack, but not enough to kill me. See this? Okay, his Cubitus is gonna counterattack again. And, am I gonna lose this one? Hopefully not, alright? Alright. Now let's witness something. I'm gonna one shot him here. Hopefully, all right. Wait, 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 I clicked the wrong skill. No, I clicked the wrong skill. All right, all right. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. I think with the power of plus four Leoris, I should be able to one shot that Cubitus with the protection, all right? Let's see. All right, use the wrong skill again. I should open with A1, I forgot. Okay, so this should be fine. Just do the strip. I didn't strip because of lightning orb. That's fine. It's fine. I can one shot him here. He's gonna counter attack, kill my team. Right, I'm the last one standing. It's fine. I've... That's it. Look at this. Plus four Leoris. Right? <laughs> I feel like against a Cubitus team, if you want to use the team I just showed, like, it has to be a plus four Leoris. Right? Otherwise, like Tronda, Hefrog, stuff like that, it's just not gonna work. I tried it many, many times. It's just not going to work. Alright, so that's a bolster set. So, this team's out, I believe, Duchess is using shield set, something like that, right? Okay, I'm gonna do a strip. Then that's a slow Duchess, okay. Couldn't uh I couldn't even <laughs> I couldn't even uh kill the shield. That's alright, that's annoying. That's a uh, annoying duchess. Probably I, I used the wrong team setup here. Alright, probably used the wrong team setup. Okay. I get another turn. Alright, no way I can kill this Duchess, so let's just put some defense here. Okay. I don't think I can kill this team. Alright, without attack up. No. Alright, so let me try a different team setup. This is a Duchess, so I didn't expect this Duchess to be this tanky. I feel like my Romanto is too fast. So, what I can do is, let's just use this team, alright. This is a plus one Cubitus. I don't know if he can one shot me, but let's see. Let's see. Okay. Oof. Alright, got the unkillable out. That's not good. Alright, so this I will have to one shot him. Alright, look at this. Actually did the one shot. And don't kill me yet. Okay, he killed me. That's fine. I think I can still win this. Right? Can I still win this? Alright, that was clutch. Actually clutch. Let's see. Alright, this one, um, a lot of, um, wait, what, what is this? Like, I actually never see people use this blessing. So, let's see how it goes. Alright, let's just use this team setup. Let's see how it goes. Oh, that's the boom armor. Okay, okay, that's the boom armor. It's gonna give him a little bit of damage reduction. Wait. Wait. No. <laughs> what is this? Okay, two turns, sheep. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, alright, alright. And that's 5% chance here. 4%, 5%, something like that. And he actually got it. Okay. Counter attack. No, that's not gonna be enough. Alright, that's unlucky here. 
Got the sheep proc. That's not gonna be it. No way. All right, so let's try it again. All right, let's let's try it again. I gotta go slow. I don't I don't think I have to use a warlord here in this case. Let's just go like this. All right, it's Kendra Fong. It's actually his fastest. That's weird. All right. Wow, that's a lot of buffs, and his necro got deleted. And his Duchess is going to revive. It's not good. Let's see if I can kill the Duchess here. I got the Duchess. Now should be uh, I should be able to win this. I feel like I should be able to win this. Have some faith in my Leoris. Come on. That's great. All right, look at this damage. Wow, look at that damage. All right. So any other interesting team we can try? I think this is basically the same thing, isn't it? A lot of blessings. All right, Boom Armor uh, is interesting, right? And got two sheep. Polymorph. Polymorph is just really, really annoying. All right, so especially on those type of uh, um, low resistance tank, all right? Like if you want to use polymorph, you have to put on some champion that has very low resistance. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. All right, let's see how it goes. Another super, super tanky thing. Like this is really the meta. You either build a team like this or you go with uh, Cupidus and Venus team. All right, that's not good. See, I got a polymorph here, but they don't have a reviver, so I'm not really worried about, not really worried about this team. They don't have a reviver. All right, let's try to kill. Wait. And polymorph is gonna slow down the the animation. That's uh, super annoying. Okay, so like I'm still saving my A2. Wait, I don't I didn't use my A2 yet, right? Alright, got the counterattack. That'll be it. So yeah, these type of team, I mean it's still doable, right? If they put a team like this, they really really need to bring a reviver. Right, this one, that's an interesting one. Plus four CV. I still should be able to fa uh to be faster than this team. So this is just my speed farming team. Let's see. Yeah, boom armor is actually really good uh, on on those tanky champions. Probably like high resistance tanky champion. Boom armor is really good. All right, Ursula is not gonna save them, and he actually blocked my skill cooldown. Wow, that's that's really um, annoying here. Well, it's that's an easy fight. Let's see if there's anything else. All right, this dude. That's a, that's a really, really weird defense, right? But all of these champions have blessings on, on them. One star blessing, better than nothing, right? Because for all the champions I use on my account, I don't have any of them uh, on a two star blessing. I got all my blessings from the from the merchant. I just n not even once had the luck of p pulling a good blessing on the champions I use. All right, so, yeah, I guess that will do it for the showcase, right? Basically, um, I just showed his damage, right? I think, like I said, this is my favorite champion in the game. Of course, it's gonna be my favorite nuker, right? I think this is just the best choice for arena offense. For arena defense right now, I think the strongest one is gonna be Hefrak. Hefrak right now in arena defense is stronger than Kendrafon, right? Probably the best is uh, is Hefrak and Cupidus. These two are equally strong let's say this and after cubitus and uh, have right then it's gonna be kendra Fong. after kendra Fong, it's gonna be a leoris something like that but for arena offense i think he is number one without a question all right so if you guys got him definitely give him a try all right and for 99.9 percent .9 of players out there you don't really have to go for duplicates unless you make up your mind you're gonna go for a plus four version of uh of empowered champion otherwise no need to go after duplicates because a plus one compared to a plus zero, there's literally no difference. 
like these type of stats between plus zero and plus one can easily be made up if you get better gear. All right, so that'll do it for this video. Uh, leave a like or subscribe to my channel. All right, and I will see you guys in a video soon.